two panels I've installed here in the port and starboard side aft area of the cockpit will supply power to the auxiliary battery for the trolling motor located here in the cockpit as well as supplying energy to the main batteries located in the V-Burst down below. Something I always like to convey because it's very important and that's the blocking diode. Here I've made a drawing of it actually. But this is the positive output from the solar panel and that terminal is connected directly to the anode side of the diode and the cathode side is connected directly to the positive lead going to the battery that blocking diode will keep energy stored in the battery when uh, it's cloudy or nighttime very important item just take a look at that schematic that's the symbol for a diode and there's also a stripe on the diode you can't really see it out here too well but there's a stripe on this diode and it faces or is closest to your lead going to the battery that'll just help you remember that okay so we're securing our Perco Mini Midget Vent we've put in the pilot and using some number four screws say this the head of this Phillips head screwdriver is a little bit large for a number four screw so I'm taking my time and just working it in slowly through the fiberglass once you get it through the fiberglass it'll go right in there and then you just want to cinch it up till it gets snug and that is installed all right that panel looks great We've got this one on the port side aft, and we've also got its twin over here on the starboard side aft. Right now that one's hooked up to a trolling motor battery, but we will be putting that through hall in the cockpit here and making it go to the main salon for hookup to uh, the house batteries. Be sure to watch our next video as we snake solar panel wiring behind bulkheads and underneath decking with hookup to the main battery systems in our V-Berth. On board Water Dance, the 17-foot all-solar-powered sailboat.